I just want women to be able to do all the things that they want to do and not be hindered by any of the symptoms that they're experiencing. Hi, I'm Dr. Alexandra Smith, and I am a naturopathic doctor here at Nirvana Naturopathic Medicine. I grew up here in Calgary, Alberta. I do not have any children, maybe five years from now. No pets currently, but we will be getting a dog very soon. Brittany Spaniel is gonna be the breed. Can't tell you the name because I have no idea yet. I've been practicing since 2019. Originally, I went down to the University of Arizona for to play soccer on a soccer scholarship, uh, which was super awesome and allowed me to get an education as well. I chose physiology because I was so interested in the human body and knew I always wanted to be in healthcare. Didn't know the exact avenue when I was doing that four-year undergrad, but quickly came to it two years after my undergrad and went to the Boucher Institute of Naturopathic Medicine. I chose the Boucher Institute of Naturopathic Medicine because it was in Vancouver, which was a really desirable city for me to go to. And also it had small class sizes. So classes were about 30 to 35 kids each, which I really liked the one-on-one -on -one, uh, learning time with teachers that we got and the collaboration between everybody knowing each other in class. So we worked really well together as a team, which was really helpful through the four years because it's quite an intense program and quite a stressful program. So having that support system with those smaller class sizes was really great fit for me. For women's health, I have just completed a hormone mastery course, which was a very intensive deep dive into hormonal concerns different testing options for hormonal concerns and targeted supplements for each of those concerns. With that knowledge, plus the knowledge that I have from my naturopathic medical school training and webinars and various training that I've done on the side, I have a really good understanding of this stuff and have done quite a bit of extra or continuing education in this focused area. I wanted to become a naturopathic doctor because I really wanted to help people with similar health concerns to me. I had acne when I was 22 years old and it was really, really bad. I also had really bad constipation and was just kind of left to my own devices, didn't feel I was getting any support from healthcare and didn't really know what to do about it, to be honest. Was at a bit of a loss and thought I just had to live with it for the rest of my life. And then my mom sent me the website for a naturopath and I explored that avenue myself for my own health concerns and was blown away at the care. I got to spend 60 minutes with my naturopath for our first appointment. She could actually really understand who I was, why this stuff was important to me and why I wanted to feel better and not deal with these chronic symptoms that I had. We did diagnostic testing, figured out what was wrong and then got me on a really targeted protocol and I haven't dealt with any of those problems since. So since having that experience, I decided that yes, this is what I also want to do to provide that option for women who are struggling with the same conditions as I was to take control of their health and be able to present their best selves to the world. I focus in women's health and hormones. So my primary focus is seeing women with hormonal imbalances. Now hormonal imbalances can include a lot of different things. Uh, so that can mean acne, it can mean painful menstruation, it can mean missing periods, it can mean headaches. There's pretty much every symptom in the book. I also treat a lot of gastrointestinal concerns within that patient population. So my two main focuses are women's hormones and gastrointestinal. What made me want to specialize in women's health is just my own health journey. So having been riddled with a lot of the concerns that I now see in practice, including acne, um, some painful menstruation, bloating, and constipation, that made me want to focus on this just because I know so many women that struggle with these concerns and we have so many tools within naturopathic medicine and the diagnostic testing and treatment plans that we can organize so that women are no longer feeling these chronic symptoms. Whether that's every month or every day, these are not things that we should be experiencing as women. And I just want women to feel that they can present their, themselves for their family, their work, their personal lives, to be able to do all the things that they wanna do and not be hindered by any of the symptoms that they're experiencing. 
With any kind of hormonal concern that women are presenting with or gastrointestinal concern, the number one step that I do is gather a full health history to better understand what kind of symptoms you're experiencing and how they're affecting your daily life. With those, that understanding of your symptom picture, comprehensive testing is the next step in terms of having a look and doing a deep dive into different testing that can give us more answers in terms of the symptoms that you're experiencing. Based on the symptoms plus the testing, then we can have a really good understanding and get a targeted supplement, diet, and lifestyle protocol set in place for you moving forward so that we can get rid of these symptoms for you. I think naturopathic medicine is extremely important because it offers a different avenue for preventative health care. With naturopathic medicine, we're not only looking at the one symptom or few symptoms that you're presenting with, we're looking at you as a whole person. I want to understand what motivates you, I want to understand what kind of stress you have, I want to understand the presenting symptoms that you're dealing with, but getting a whole picture and understanding what's going on is really important. And this is where naturopathic medicine shines. Because we have time with our patients, we have the opportunity to do a deep dive into health history and understand based on those symptoms, what root causes are we considering that we need to rule in or rule out that you may be dealing with. Naturopathic medicine allows us to figure out the root cause of what's going on and ultimately treat not only with supplements or medications, but also what are we doing in our daily life to prevent further health conditions from happening and to decrease the symptoms that we may be experiencing right now. It's very encompassing and holistic and that's why I think it's so important. I think the one thing I wish people knew about naturopathic medicine is that we focus a lot on research and evidence-based medicine. There's a lot of time spent in terms of looking at new research and understanding how this can best help patients with different symptoms or different diagnoses. By us being evidence-based, we are providing best practices while also focusing on diet and lifestyle. Doctor-client relationships are so important because we have to have rapport in order for you to feel comfortable to divulge health concerns. These are really intimate things that you're experiencing and with us being able to have that rapport and understanding, it allows you to feel comfortable and allows treatment protocols to work much better. With that trust and rapport that develops in a patient visit, it allows us to understand each other and the goals that you want out of this visit so that we can get you to those health goals. It's a really important piece of what I do and I really prioritize making sure that my patients feel comfortable when they're in the office with me and that the game plan that we come up with together is something that's doable and um, targeted towards the symptoms that they're experiencing. My favorite thing about working with my clients is the opportunity to sit with someone and for them to feel comfortable to divulge their concerns and then ultimately to see some of those concerns go away and for them to feel their best selves um, and feel that they can present themselves to the world and be the best human that they can be is always the most rewarding part of this job. Um, getting to see people with the big smile on their face when those symptoms start to go away and they're feeling really good really warms my heart and love to see what our medicine can do in terms of helping women. My biggest accomplishment that I am most proud of in being a naturopath is improving people's quality of life. So allowing people to feel better, that is the number one thing that, and the reason and the motivator that I am a naturopathic doctor. Finding root causes and getting symptoms to go away is why I do what I do. What I think is missing from healthcare in general is more naturopathic doctors. Calgary doesn't have a ton and we definitely need more because it's an avenue that a lot of people are exploring for chronic health concerns. Especially in women's health, there's a, so many people that are struggling and we need to get the word out about naturopathic medicine and make it a mainstay of healthcare. I think the person who's had the biggest influence on me is my mom. Um, she is, a very hard worker and perseveres and she had quite an athletic journey when she was growing up. She was a very, very competitive swimmer, um, which ultimately 
inspired me to be a very, very competitive soccer player. And she was always just so supportive and really wanted the best for me. And then also seeing her just persevere through her career um, has really motivated me and allowed me to also have that inner motivation to persevere what I want and what I'm looking for in, in life. And that ultimately led me to naturopathic medicine. And she is the reason that I am a naturopathic doctor. She's the one that first opened my eyes to naturopathic medicine. And so I just feel that she's the one that has had the biggest influence on me and has always been a really grounded guiding force for me in terms of pursuing my dreams to become a naturopathic doctor. When I'm not working, I am outside in the mountains adventuring. Uh, biggest sports for me are long distance, so trail running, bike packing, mountain biking, uh, cross country skiing, and backcountry skiing in the winter. Anything that has movement involved, you can sign me up. And if I'm not moving, you can catch me at the side of the river fly fishing. My most favorite trip that I've been on is actually quite local. Um, it was a four day bikepacking trip that my partner and I did last year. We bike packed from Banff all the way to the um, Columbia Ice Field and back. So on our way up to Jasper, it took us four days. It was incredible to go in a slower fashion than driving because you get to experience the mountains in such a different way. We had all of our gear on our bikes and off we went and it was the most incredible and grounding experience I've ever had. This is a hard question, I'm such a foodie, but my favorite food is burger. Give me a classic burger, it's what I'm always gonna order at a restaurant. Um, and I feel I am quite the burger connoisseur at this point. My favorite health podcast is The Tim Ferriss Show. Um, super motivating and all about longevity and how we can be our best selves. The people that he has on are from a variety of different topics and areas. And I just always love the way that he interviews and gets people to really divulge uh, their deepest, darkest secrets, which is quite cool. My favorite health brand, this is, this is really hard for me. Um, I'm gonna go with favorite health food store. Community Natural Foods, best store in Calgary, who's been here since I was a little tyke. And I remember my mom taking me to Community Natural Foods and now I'm a regular shopper there and they have all the best health brands. Nailed it, that's <laughs> it, exactly. I think Those we're questions. good, yeah. Okay, cool.